once we'd steamed the ribs in and then cleaned them up, clamped them in place, drilled, nailed, riveted. Um, we riveted all the nails. There's still maybe half a dozen nails down along the keel in the odd place where we've got chocks on the outside that we couldn't get to, so they'll be they'll be done when the boat's moved off the building block. Um, once the ribs were in, the next job was the stringers, really. Um, I'd have liked to have got the gunnels in first to secure the boat to shape. But because of the shape of her, it would be difficult getting the seats fitted with the gunnels in. So it was easier to mark off for the stringers, uh, which are about seven and a quarter inches below the shear line, the top of the stringer. The top of the stringer to the shear line is about seven and a quarter inches right the way through the boat. Stringers were cut, planed. I like a, a pretty decent stringer in there and, and just routing a bead on the edges tends to make it look smaller. So. Uh, that's really the reason for that. That's screwed to the ribs with stainless steel screws. Once the stringers were in, then the seats were fitted. This is how I tend to fit the seats. This was the pattern for the after seat. So I just make up a, a bit of timber with blocks on the end of the, the same thickness that the seat will be, put it in place with the hot melt glue gun, just stick little, little sticks on to give me where the ribs are, the angle of the planking, everything like that, then drop it on top of a, a planed piece of wood. And with a little square marked down, copy all the positions and the angles, then cut it out, usually leaving a little bit of wood there just for final fitting. So when this, the seat gets put in, you say, oh yeah, I just need to shave a millimetre or two off here or there. And then they get fitted. They're still loose at the moment, although they, they fit nice and snugly. The middle seat, although we're looking at scribing the knees later, middle seat is still movable because we've got to fit the centre plate case. Um, I don't really want to take it out, it'll just lift up and we can clamp it under the gunnel get the centre plate case sides in, fastened up, marked off, planed off, and then hopefully the seat will drop down and sit on the stringers and the top of the centre plate case all in one go. And that'll get, there'll be a couple of screws down through the centre plate case which will help keep that upright so that if there's strain from the centre plate it all gets transferred to the seat, which then gets transferred to the knees and the gunnels and the ribs and the planks and the strains spread throughout the boat. Uh, once the seats were fitted, it was gunnels really. And gunnels are a nice bit of larch, straight grained larch. Um, they would just run through the planer. A little bead routed on the bottom edge just to match the stringers and the seats and to make them not appear quite so wide as they would be. Do you have to steam this into position? No, the larch bent around there quite well. The, the, it took a bit of clamping out in the shoulder there but what we did discover was once we'd actually got, got the gunnel out to here it followed the plank 
pretty much spot on all the way around without needing to be clamped so it's a it is a lovely fair curve we've got around there um, they were just shaped around the apron at the bow and cut to fit on the, the bevel on the transom and once the gunnels were in we set about fitting the breast hook and the two quarter knees back aft and that's really where we've got to at this stage we're just uh, starting to scribe up the knees while the boat is still braced and straight and square on the building blocks anything that needs putting in level like the floorboard there is there and one's up in the bow it's just easier to do it now before the boat starts rocking about and you're not quite sure where the level is anymore so we'll get those done shortly how do you, how do you transfer the, the shape to using the shape again is just done with glue sticks that's the template for the bearer for the forward floorboard and what we're aiming really are we, that's the mast step which is three quarters done and so what we're aiming for here is for the the bearer to fit nicely on the planks at the right bevel and also for the the center of it just to pick up on the mast step so if there is a lot of weight on it it's taken in the center rather than trying to push the planks out at the sides of the boat. And we'll probably have another another bearer across here and then we'll level it off and pick up the bow of the the front of the bow floorboard on the stem there. On the stem deadwood. <laughs> 